What's up guys, John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com and let's talk about the software development pay bubble and what you can do about it, how you can prepare yourself and why this is something that you should actually worry about. Now, for a long time, it's been very, very lucrative to be a software developer. I know this because, hey, I was a software developer for a long time, I made really good money, and I have a ton of coaching clients who are making two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 per year. It's kind of crazy. Now, it doesn't mean that software developers shouldn't be paid highly. Obviously, it's a very valuable skill and one of the most valuable skills that you can possess, but I do think that it's a bubble, and the reason why is because in any company, you have to measure what that employee's output is. What the bottom line is that they produce for that company, how much income do they actually earn from their work for that company versus how much they're being paid. And anytime you have a situation where someone's work is not producing that value, and sometimes, again, with software development, it's really hard to measure. In other industries, it's easier to measure. In my business, I've got a smaller business, I employ some people, and I can sort of measure some of the activities they do and how that relates to how much money they make. For example, if I have a guy that is doing copywriting for me, that's writing emails for me, I can very easily say, okay, well, when I have him working for me, his emails, they generate this much income and I'm paying him this much. And so I can know what is he worth to me in the business. Now in software development, it's a little bit harder to figure that out, but most of you could probably admit that if you really had to think about it, you would probably say that you're probably being overpaid, okay? And now some of you, maybe you're being underpaid. If that's the case, I recommend you get my book, Soft Skills Software Developers Life Manual. Go check it out on Amazon and get your pay up. Actually, there's an even better book that I have for getting your pay up called The Complete Software Developer Career Guide. You can check that out. Just look for my name on Amazon. You'll find that as well. But the thing to really worry about here is what's gonna happen, right? Already, we're seeing a lot of layoffs in the software development industry, we're seeing hiring freezes, and we're seeing a lot of automation coming in where a lot of jobs that were done by software developers are now able to be done by AI. Now, I don't think that software development is ever gonna disappear. I think some people are worried like, oh, you're all gonna be replaced by robots, it's not gonna happen. But what is gonna happen is that as software development matures, and there's more developers and more people are going to coding boot camps. I recommend it all the time and becoming developers, you're gonna hit a point where it's gonna be much easier to evaluate how much is a software developer actually worth. And when that happens, what's gonna happen is that pay is gonna potentially go down or what's gonna happen is inflation is gonna go up and pay is not gonna go up with the inflation so it's gonna relatively go down. So as a software developer, you should be worrying about that and you should have a backup plan. I used to talk about back in the day about how outsourcing, outsourcing was a big problem. And a lot of software developers that didn't learn software engineering skills, how to actually the life cycle of a project, agile, and Scrum and all these methodologies and communication skills and really, again, the soft skills for software developers, you can read my book, they ended up not being able to compete with developers from India that were charging a few bucks an hour to do the same work because they had those programming skills. The same type of thing is going to happen here for software developers that don't develop entrepreneurial skills. So as a software developer, you need to realize that things are gonna get commoditized. There's more developers, there's more technology for automating the creation of code. And so if you really wanna become valuable and protect yourself, you need to use those skills that you have to build something, to build an application, to build a business, to build a company, and to basically become an entrepreneur. Because that's really the thing that is going to protect you in the future. And then your fate is in your hand. I became an entrepreneur. I left software development and became an entrepreneur. Now I make a lot more money than I ever did as a software developer. And I have security because no one's my boss. No one can tell me what to do. Now, if you want some help doing this and becoming financially free, click the link down below. I am offering a free 15 minute call for planning your financial freedom and your future. I have a ton of software developers that I've helped. I've been coaching hundreds of software developers for a long time in becoming financially free on how to build a business, how to invest in real estate, and how to make sure that when this bubble pops and software development salaries go down or there's not as many jobs available that you're protected and that you don't have to rely on this industry, especially knowing that it's in a bubble. So click the link down below and jump on a call.